Okay, welcome back. This is EENG 460, and today's program is going to be on the, um, <coughs> let's see, what's it going to be on? It's going to be on load half word, yeah. So up to now, we've um, looked at um, load word, which allows you to load 32 bits into a register. And then we looked at load byte, which allows you to load um, 8 bits into a register, and then at zero pads, the upper 24 is zero. And then, um, when we did load word, you could only access memory at multiples of uh, four. A memory address had to be a multiple of four. When we did load byte, you could access every single memory, you know, just incremented by one. It what didn't have that four byte boundary restriction. Well, now we're going to do load half word, which is going to be half of 32 bits or 16 bits. And we're going to find that we can access um, memory as long as the memory address is a multiple of two. So let me uh, bring in the program we're going to talk about today. And it's load half word, okay? And it demonstrates the use of um, LHU, load half word unsigned, and storing half words, SH. Okay? So, um, got our usual comments, and we got our data segment there. I've got some test data here that I'm going to move around. I'm going to read that. I'm going to read that using the load half word command into a register, and then I'm going to store it back out to memory using the store half word command, SH. There's my demo, and there's my normal termination, all right? So let's see, what happens in the text part of the program? Well, first thing I do is I just um, uh, load immediate v04, load address, message zero. So I'm displaying this, I'm loading this address of the message there. And then I call syscall, so that should print out my demo program. Okay. Now the actual program starts down uh, here. Yeah, the interesting stuff. All right, so here. First thing I do is I load immediate S0 with 1001 quad zero. Well, hopefully by now that number's looking familiar. That's kind of the beginning of our data segment. Okay. And then what I do is I use that load half word. Okay. So I go to S0, the contents of S0, which is 1001 quad zero. I offset zero, so I add those two together. And I go to memory location 1001 quad zero. And I go get um, a half word. I get 16 bits and I put it into T0. Okay. Now notice down here, I'm going to go take uh, the base address plus one. Well, I've got that commented out because load half word is going to give you an error. You can uncomment that and verify you get an error. Now I can go to base address offset two because we're doing 16 bits and load those 16 bits into T1. Offset of four, base address, S0, load this in T2. Offset of six, offset of eight. So I'm basically reading memory two bytes at a time and putting it into my register zero through four. Then what I can do is I could say, well, let's um, load uh, S1 immediate with 1002 quad zero. So I'm reading memory from 1001 quad zero. I'm storing it out to 1002 quad zero. And then I'm just going to store the contents of T0 out to the memory location 1002 quad zero plus zero. Okay, now I'm not going to take the entire 32 bits. I'm going to take the lower 16 bits. Now the upper is zero, just, you know, because that's the way we write them in. And then um, we're going to store the 16 bits out to uh, the memory location starting at 1002 quad zero. And then it'll be also written into 1002 quad or zero zero one. Okay, and then same thing. I'm going to store half word. I'm going to take the lower 16 bits of T1 and store it out at 1002, zero, 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 two, and three. And then we'll take the lower 16 bits of T2, store it out to memory location 1002, 0004, and 0005. Okay. And then down here, I just do a normal termination. All right, let's go ahead and load this guy and run it, see what happens. File, reinitialize, and load file. I want my load half word. Okay, here's my data segment. You can kind of see at 1001 quad zero, we have that uh, string 0 through F. And then I have my next string, which is demo program, loading and storing half words. And then I have my normal termination message. All right. Now, I don't have anything at 1002 because right now uh, 1002 exists between these guys. 1002 quad zero is all zeros. And that's what that tells me. OK, so uh, let's go to our text and let's start hitting F10. OK, so let's see. We need to uh, let's see hit F10. All right, so I basically, at this point, I have loaded immediate V04, loaded the address into A0. Let's go ahead and double check that. V0 is 4, the address A0, 1001, All right, that's the address of my uh, message. And then I call um, syscall, and there you go. Console, demo program, loading and storing half words. All right. So now at this point, we load S0 with 1001 quad zero, the beginning of the data segment. And then what I do is I say load half word, 
Go to S0, which is 1001 quad 0. I'm going to add an offset of 0, so I'm still at 1001 quad 0. And I'm going to go to that memory location and the next memory location, which is 101001, and load those 16 bits into T0. All right, let's go see what's in T0. T0 has 0 right now. What we're going to do, go to the data segment, 1001 quad 0, which corresponds to this guy right here. I'm going to take that plus th this right here because I'm going to pull 16 bits starting at 1001 quad 0 and shove that into uh, T0. So let me go back to my int registers and I'll hit F10 and keep your eye on T0 and see what happens. And there you go. We just loaded hex 3130. Go back to my data segment and there you go. We picked up 3130. Go back to my text. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 1001002, right? because I've got an offset of 2. If I go back to my data segment, uh, this guy is 1001 quad 0, 1001001. This one here is 1001002. So now I'm going to take 1001002 and 1001003, 32 and 33. And what are we going to do with that? We're going to load those 16 bits and put it into T2. Let's go look at my registers. T2, keep your eyes looking right there at T2. Let me hit F10 to step through. Oh, there we go. 3332. Three, three, there you go. So I'm basically going to do the same thing. I'll kind of step through here. And here I'm doing 1001 quad 0 plus 6, 1001 quad 0 uh, plus 8. Okay. And let's go look at T1 through 4, T0 through T4. Yeah, what we basically did is we just copied memory. There's uh, 30, 31, 33, 32, 35, 34, 37, 36, 39, 38. And what we did is we took memory and we grabbed it at uh, 16 bits at a time. Those 16 bits, then those 16 bits, then these 16 bits, then these 16 bits, and then these 16 bits right here. And we loaded them into the registers, all right? Now what I'm going to do is I am going to execute this command, which is going to put 1002 quad 0 into register S1. All right, let's go look at register S1. E, where's S1? There it is. It has 1002 quad 0. Now if I go to my data segment, the reason I chose 1002 quad 0 is because it's way up here. I'm not going to overwrite any of my strings. All right, 1002 quad 0. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the contents of the register... T0 through T4 and only write 16 bits of it at a time to an offset of 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. And there you go. We're going to take this guy and uh, we're going to store the contents of T0 out to 1002 quad 0. Then I'm going to store the contents of T1 out to 1002 quad 0 offset 2. Store the contents of T2 out to 1002 quad 0 offset 4. So I should have T0, 1, and 2 written out there at 1002 quad 0. Let's go to the data segment. And there you go. Yep, there's T0. There's the contents of T1. And then there's T2. Now if I hit F10, we'll keep populating that area out in memory, 1002 quad 0 with the respective uh, offset. I'm going to hit F10. Oh, we just wrote 3736. I'm going to hit F10 again. We just wrote 39, 38, 16 bits at a time. And notice, keep your eye plugged down here. If I hit, uh, I should get a normal termination message up here. So I'll hit F10. Hit your eye plugged down here. We're single stepping. If I hit F10 again, again, and then I did load immediate V010 and then says call and the program has stopped. All right. So that was an example of using load half word. On